coffee every day. <laughs> does not take that long. Who needs fancy equipment? Absolutely nothing feels better than when you're under pressure and UPS shows that you are about to receive the product today. And nothing feels worse than when that product does not arrive like yesterday. Ah. <laughs> All right, so I forgot to include this in yesterday's video but we received our package of our much, much needed mailers. And so it's basically these. We use three different sizes and they are coming, they are becoming harder to come by and we missed the import shipment. So we've bought these from the US, we've imported them before. Uh, it seems so hard to find someone who actually manufactures these in the US. Uh, we, you know, this is the box that we get. It's 500 here, we have another 500 coming but we go through these so fast. And so we're looking to purchase in uh, larger quantities like before where we bring over 50,000, uh, I'm sorry, not fi uh, 50, 5,000. And um, so they go for about three to four cents imported, but it takes like 30 to 40 days. And so it was really hard uh, when we first started to kind of time that. And that has been the key to make sure you're on it. And uh, it just flew by so quick this last batch of 5,000. So, we purchased these from a local distributor and there was a delay and we're like, what's going on? They don't manufacture it here in the US. And so we were trying to purchase from US, even though it was uh, double or actually more than double, it was 24 cents each um, at 500 bulk quantities. And we figured we'd get one every week uh, or, or two if needed, you know, uh, because we figured, oh, they'll be in stock. But no, it looks like they're importing as well. So imported for the triple zeros, are uh, three to four cents um, here in the US. We can get them as low as 16 cents, but the quality of the ones that we got for 16 cents were kind of poor. And so we actually just tossed like a thousand of those in the trash. Uh, these ones are 24 cents and we were under the impression that they were made here in the US instantly at that spot but it turns out from someone else, we kind of figured out that they were imported as well, which is why they're having such a hard time getting them in. Uh, so if you guys know anyone that has these bubble mailers, uh, you know, we can order a good amount at a time to make it worth the person's while, but uh, if they make them here in the US, let us know. If you guys even import it and you have a special source, you know, especially if one of uh, you know the YouTube viewers works for a company or something like that, we'd love to support you guys back by purchasing from you. But anyways, yeah, this was one of the boxes I got yesterday and I didn't unbox. So it's just, you know, bubble mailers, nothing super special, but definitely a critical part of our business because we wanna make sure that the quality is good, the tape isn't peeling off, that it's really, really good uh, thick tape and it seals. We don't want these things opening at all. They must have the bubbles inside. Um, and uh, it's not necessary to have reinforced edges because they stay together so well anyways. And the other thing that we got was paper, a bunch of paper. So let me go ahead and pull that out. So when we had the box here and my wife was like, oh yeah, you gotta do the heavy lifting. This was the box that it was. And uh, we had uh, uh, Darren say, what was in the box? You never told us what was in the box. And we're like, oh my God, I forgot to say. And my wife commented, oh, it is nothing special, you know, just paper. And Darren was like, oh my God, that's something super special. And we're like, oh yeah, I guess you do print on paper every day. <laughs> so we get it from Amazon Basics, but uh, this is really good for just, you know, run of the mill paper, um, you know, for printing our stuff on. And, and then we just go ahead and recycle it uh, because we print two sheets, one for a packing slip and then uh, one for, you know, uh, receipts and stuff like that. So. They get recycled, at least half of them do, and we hope that other people recycle them as well.
I wanted to show just the process of replacing the maintenance cartridge. It's super simple and kind of show you what it looks like. So it says the maintenance box is at the end of its service life. You'll need to replace it. So all we have to do is open this handle right there. And then it lives in this corner. You go ahead and pull this tab up. And then this is the box. So it's just this little tiny box on the back. And uh, yeah, it's chipped. So it kind of reads, you know, it keeps track of what uh, it, the life use of it is. Um, it looks like there's a needle that goes in there to eject the ink, or maybe that's a breather hole. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, you know, maybe on that side. Anyways, so you pull that out, okay? And then you probably should put it right in the bag right away so you don't have ink everywhere, but uh, yeah, super simple. It would suck if this thing tipped and you had pigment ink everywhere. Not a fun situation. So then you go ahead and uh, open up this guy. Make sure you pay attention to the instructions. Do not try and peel this off. This is actually what's holding the ink in, so don't, don't peel it off. I know a lot of the stuff, especially from HP latex printers, looks like foil. You're supposed to peel them off. But it just slides right in here, like so. Click it down until it pops in. Uh, go ahead and uh, close that guy. Close this cover. And then it's gonna go back to the uh, page, and you just go ahead and hit pause and it will resume right where it's at. I did a little time lapse in the beginning or I'm gonna throw it in the video of kind of where this was at, but if you come around this side, you can see this roll. We have a couple of rolls of this that we need to do. Um, uh, typically we do rolls from 100 to 1,000. This is gonna be a couple of rolls of 1,000 uh, uh, labels. For two inch, one like main roll is, like a full roll is about 1,200 labels. So we're doing, I think four rolls, something like that. Um, we have two rolls left to go, but all right, cool. See, another roll nicely all uh, manicured and taken care of. By hand, you can remove the matrix. It really does not take that long. You end up with this big old ball here, you know, but it's okay. It only takes a couple seconds and you just did a thousand stickers just like that. All right, let's do the other rolls. We got a package. We got a package. I'm so excited. Um, this is the box though. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon. For Prime. the win. For the win. What the heck? All right, let's see here. Oh, sweet. 
Yes. Yes. Please. All right. Check All these right. out. Nice. So, right. High Rise Organization, super awesome. We started putting stickers for them um, a year or so ago. Yeah, I guess. about a year. And we keep in touch on Instagram and um, super awesome. Look how cool this is. These I'm are the exact style I've been wanting. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. he reached out to us uh, a while back to print stickers for him. And I was like, you know what? I saw you wanted more stickers. Can we do a little swap? Oh, and these the design, the logo, amazing. the brand that he's built is just awesome. I, I love the, the look of it. So thank super, you so super excited. much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Definitely thank you. Shout out to High Rise Organization. So I'll leave a link in the description box below. You can check out his merch, but it's definitely six. All right, just came back from lunch. Got some Albertos. Awesome Mexican food, but uh, super happy. We got burritos, right? Uh, not a plug for them. Important thing is, I was even happier because the package came back. Let's see what it is. I am hoping that this is the sample media that I had uh, ordered and uh, we can throw it on the printer and cutter because if you notice in the background, I haven't had the new label finisher running because I ran out of media. So this is a, yep, there we go. All right. So this is a uh, gloss bop. Uh, it's five and three quarter inches wide, which is gonna fit perfectly with my laminate. That's five and a half inches. So we'll go through the pinch rollers, be perfect. Hopefully uh, the ink stays on there really good. I'm gonna do a couple weeks of testing with this before I send it to any of the customers. Uh, and I have two other vendors sending me their material as well. And we will go ahead and test it. So catch you later. Okay, so one quick note before we go, I actually came back into the office and I was thinking, we had a customer that wanted a uh, holographic material. It's kind of a hard material to find. And so where did we go? We went to Hickman Label because they have a massive selection. And with this, we requested a sample. It turns out these two are the two different types and we never would have guessed that holographic came in like a rainbow and then a diamond pattern. So we're so glad that we got those samples. If you have a special type of paper that you need a variety of, whether uh, other than just like plain white paper or plain bop, check them out. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below. I can't remember if I touched on this yesterday or not in the other vlog, but uh, I'm only saying this because I got a couple of messages saying, is there any place that you have for, or that you would recommend for specialty paper? Uh, and the only thing I can think of is Hickman Label, just because they have such a vast uh, variety of materials. And uh, the clear, somebody asked, can, uh, do they supply clear? I, I think I uh, mentioned in uh, yesterday's uh, video too, that they have clear, we order clear. Uh, from them all the time. Uh, it is one of our big sellers for the uh, uh, two inch uh, circles that we do. So check them out. 